Hi, I'm Sarah Nicholson with Nicholson Tutoring, and today I want to show you some of the on-screen tools that you're given as part of the ACT computer-based test, also known as the CBT. If you are going to be taking the CBT, I strongly urge you to familiarize yourself with these tools so that you can maximize your performance on test day. The format of the ACT CBT is exactly like the pencil and paper test. The sections are the same, in the same order, same number of questions. The only difference is the delivery mechanism here. A few general things to notice. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the science section and right by my video, and I'm circling it with my cursor, you have a timer that's counting down by the second. This remains on your screen the whole time, which I find very helpful so that you don't have to be using the wall clock or relying on your proctor. You'll also have a pop-up notification in the screen when you have five minutes left in case you lose track of your time a little bit. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the test status toolbar. This is also helpful for you to keep track of where you are in the test. So you can see I have the number of questions that I have answered, uh, the number I've yet to answer, and the questions that I have flagged. Flagging questions is a really helpful feature because it allows you to mark the questions you want to return to later in the test. And I can see that either in these icons, uh, you can see my cursor moving, you can see where some of the icons next to the item number or question number are flags. I can also go to this menu where uh, if I click on the flag icon, only those questions I have flagged will be listed. And so again, this just helps me keep track of what I wanna go back and review and make sure that I actually do that before the section is over. Perhaps the most powerful tool in the CBT is the highlighting function. So if you look on your bottom toolbar, and I've already, I've already clicked on it, you can see the highlighter icon. If I click on that, uh, I can highlight not only text in the passage, and so I'm just doing this sort of randomly to demonstrate, I can also highlight information in the tables. So I can highlight values here. This helps me uh, both stay engaged as a test taker, uh, especially if I have some distractions in my room or I'm maybe getting fatigued. It also can help me make sure that I'm looking at the right row and column. Um, I find, as a tutor, when my students don't have something to physically write on, like a test booklet, it's a little bit easier to skip a line or skip a column, uh, look at the wrong thing, and then you've gotten a wrong answer and you haven't even realized it. So utilize this highlighting tool liberally uh, in every section of the test. Again, it's available in all four sections. And, and the other thing I want you to notice here is I can move away from the question that I'm working on. And if I come back, my highlighting remains. So it doesn't carry through to the next question, okay? The next question, it, it's still in the same passage, but you notice my highlights are gone. This is what you want because a question that's asking for something different, you might wanna highlight differently. But if, if I want to go back and review this question that I flagged, my highlights for that question still remain. So think about any time you would use your pencil in the test booklet, use your highlighter on the screen. Very, very helpful. These are the biggest functions I find uh, that help students better engage with the online format of the test and also help them better keep track of what, they're, what they've done, what they're doing currently, and what they need to look at again. If you have any questions, please check out my website or contact me there at www.nicholsontutoring.com.